about 300 support the lawyers by being paralegals and clerks and secretaries and, and so on. But like all law firms and like all of us, in fact, like everyone who's not working with directly uh, within the courts, we are the consumers of the justice system. And so that's why we need to care about this uh, conversation. The Oregon Department of Justice is the largest law firm in the state, and we, uh, we, we hope to provide the gold standard of legal service to state government. That's what we exist for, is to be the lawyers for the state of Oregon. Um, there's hardly anything in the justice system that we don't touch in Oregon. So just to give you an idea of what those divisions are, I mentioned nine. Uh, the legal divisions are general counsel. They're the ones who actually give the legal advice to the state, agencies, boards, commissions, sometimes the legislators if they ask, or even the governor. Uh, we have a trial division that represents the state. If, if there's a case where the state has been sued, we gotta go to trial. We have a, an appellate division. Our appellate division handles every criminal appeal in Oregon. So if there's an appeal from a conviction, we work on, the district attorneys do not handle those appeals. We handle them on their behalf. Um, and also other types of appeals where the state is a party. We have a criminal justice division, fondly known as CJ. Uh, that division has uh, DUI, domestic violence, and elder abuse prosecutors that are called resource prosecutors, and they circulate all throughout the state helping to bring some of the more difficult cases uh, along with district attorneys, or sometimes if they ask us to, we handle them for them. Uh, we also have a civil enforcement division that includes child advocacy, consumer protection, charities, and going after monies that are owed to the state. So I want to just mention uh, very briefly uh, four of the programs that we have that I think that are particularly